Now we're going to go in and we're going to focus on the shapes that we see and add the shadows and the highlights that you can see. Move this over just a little bit so we can look. So you've got the shape of a shadow here. There's kind of a shape here. You can just, if you look for the shapes, painting is less about line and more about the shapes. So you can see it's a little bit darker here. It's got a dark circle here with the darker brown wings some highlights right here in the face. So look for the shapes. And something that you can do if you you know, are new to painting, you can take a pencil and draw the shapes that you see straight on your reference photo. It will help you to see the shapes better and to learn how to practice it and put it into your painting. So we're going to start with the darker areas a little bit and go for a slightly smaller brush because we're working a little smaller. Now, actually, I should have done this before, but we're going to add a little bit of black in here. So I put some black on my palette. Now, I'm not going to use this everywhere or for every single shadow, but for Geraldine back there, the dark colored little barred rock, her shadows are darker than I can get with just the Payne's Gray. So, I'm going to paint those in. Now we are fudging this a little bit because here you can see there's a chicken right there but you can't see her head and so it would look, it would just look awkward. So we're taking some artistic license here, artistic freedom, and we're just pretending that's not even there. So we're going to have to make it up as we go. But I can see a shadow here and a highlight here, so I'm just assuming from seeing shadows my entire life, as we all have, that it's going to be a little darker there. Now I'll go in a little more just straight Payne's Gray, just to fill things in a little bit there. And I am going to take some white with the Payne's Gray, and she's got a nice highlight here on her back. And I'm going to paint that in. And here on her head, I got a good highlight from the sun. I'm going to add that in too. Now I can lighten that up a little bit more later, and I will. We're just laying in the groundwork here. There we go. Again, this is what is called the messy middle. It is messy and it might make you think, oh this painting is horrible, I can't do it. But don't give up yet. Keep going. Alright, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna add some shadows as well. Now yellow is a little tricky. It can get a little green when you mix it with black or Payne's Gray, but I'm gonna go with the Payne's Gray and just go in and do those shadows again. I'm going to add a few here for the back of the wing. She's got some hiding in her tail there on the back. Just a little bit here at the top. Actually, she has some down there on her leg, too. I missed it. A little bit more. Paint's gray. And we'll do this one, too. It's got a little too much water on my brush. It's a little watery. There we go. Now we're going to add her highlights, so get a little white and yellow ochre again. And she's got a very bright highlight on her face here, which will almost be pure white. See right there? Yeah, she's got a lot of subtle highlights, but we're going to just start with a few of them, and we can always lighten them up.
Now, if you haven't watched my lesson on value, it is a drawing lesson, but it's really helpful for painting. That will be a big help too, because we're dealing with value right now. We're looking for the shadows and the highlights, and that is value. Not so much the color, but the value within each color. So adding some more highlights. Now I'm going to let you work on her and we'll meet back in the next part of this lesson.